Hey guys, welcome back to your machine learning series. In this video, we are going to be classifying machine learning algorithms. And there are two primary groups that you will want to concern yourself with. And those are supervised and unsupervised algorithms. Also, my throat is like, uh, like convulsing and like sore. So I'm talking like really quiet. So I apologize if I sound like a raspy idiot. I'm just, I really don't want to stop making videos. <laughs> now, as I mentioned in previous videos, the art of machine learning is classifying things. That's one of the, the main, did I ever say that? I hope I said that, goodness. Classifying things. So we take a bunch of people and we want to classify whether they are going to have diabetes or not. We take a bunch of people and we classify whether they're likely to watch this movie. Or we take, we take a bunch of images and try to classify them as cats or dogs or people. Those are all things that machine learning is apt for. So, when it comes down to it, these are both going to be used for classifying things, but the way it does it is a little bit different. And there are tons of algorithms, you can just look up machine learning algorithms and get like a paragraph description of each one, and it will say if they're supervised or unsupervised. Well, my goal here is not to teach you a list of algorithms, but to teach you how to understand what that means and why it really matters. So you can think of it as teaching a child. When you teach a child and you supervise this child, you are able to give this child instruction to learn. Unsupervised is more like throwing a child into a room and hoping he figures things out on his own. <laughs> it's like two different approaches to parenting, okay? So supervised, this is what we've been kind of using as our basis for understanding machine learning. And this is a good place to start because it's easier to understand and it's easier to pick up and then unsupervised learning is, you know, once you got the supervised learning, it's really easy to pick up the unsupervised learning. Thinking back to our example of whether or not someone has diabetes, we have this data set and part of that data set is complete. So we have a bunch of historical data and we can say someone's a male, they're less than 50 years old and they have a history of diabetes in their family. And this person ended up having diabetes. Okay, well we can use this kind of as our learning for our supervised algorithms. So what this means is that when we get new data, this provision that we've put upon our algorithm, I don't know what is with my language lately. I've just been using like the weirdest words. Okay, so someone comes into our office who's a male and he's less than 50 and they have a history of diabetes in their family, the obvious result is going to be, yes, this person is going to have diabetes before they die. And that is based off of the historical data that our algorithm has learned from. So that puts supervised learning into perspective. Unsupervised learning is a little different. So think about it like this. We give the algorithm a bunch of data and we want to find correlations or groupings in our data. So we feed this algorithm like millions of photos and without having a historical data set where we know this is the end result, the unsupervised algorithm is able to look at this data and based on what algorithm you choose, the way it does this is different, but it's going to be able to group this data based on similarities between this data. So, you know, this might be, um, <laughs> chocolate kisses because <laughs> it kind of looks like one so this is a picture of chocolate kisses and this is a picture of uh, balloons yeah so my definition for unsupervised learning was pretty terrible but that's because I haven't got into unsupervised learning nearly as much as I have with supervised learning so as we go on in the series hopefully I can give you guys a better understanding there is also something called semi supervised which is like this hybrid between the two you could research that too the book that I've been using, Fundamentals of Machine Learning for Predictive Data Analytics, has a chapter over different types of, uh, I believe, supervised algorithms. Um, so it groups it by, first we have information-based, then we have similarity-based, and then probability-based, and then error-based. If you think a categorization like that would be beneficial to you, check out the book. I will throw links in the descriptions. And yeah, that's really, that is like the fundamentals. Uh, I know I didn't really go into a whole lot, but I, my goal isn't to make you an expert on everything. 
I just want you to have a rough introduction <laughs> and that we can move on to the next topic. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that was adequate. Please uh, leave me some suggestions and comments. And yeah, that, that's basically all I got. Hopefully my voice uh, kicks back in a little bit here soon. <laughs> thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.